Welcome back, my lovely friends. Uh, welcome back, Nif. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very, you. Very, she's very excited. <laughs> well, yeah, you see, I mentioned in previous video, it's going to be really difficult for us to film together, but we managed to squeeze a little yeah. time. Making it work. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Because I've just come back from Martin, I mean, last week, and obviously you realize I didn't post any video <laughs> because literally I couldn't be asked. To be honest, don't take offense. It's just. I needed a break, okay, from the break. <laughs> and you? You're going next week, yeah. right? Yeah. She's going next week to next Monaco. Week. Yeah. yeah. So we're here. So, mm. yeah. Busy month, guys. Yeah. But yeah, we're back. Today we're going to do something which I did 2020. I did a cherry Negroni, but since then it's kind of a, a upgraded let's yeah, put it that developed. way yeah it's developed to a, a slight different recipe so we decide to share it with you but not only this we kind of want to show you how to pre-batch this cocktail as well so it's like a fridge friendly let's put it this way quick yeah very quick because very quick. the way how you're pre-batching the cocktail it will allow you just to put ice in your glass pour and enjoy so none of the steering which is going to get serve. involved today and serving you you save your time. So if you have a party mm -hmm. or you know, I mean, quite few friends around, yeah. perfect, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Fun party drink to be fair. It is Christmas fun party, party drink. drink, and it's a really good yeah. drink for all of you who kind of are trying to get used to the Negroni. So, <laughs> if you are ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. So are you asking them, not me? Yeah, I'm asking them, not but, you. But I am. So. She's ready anyway. <laughs> but if you are ready for some shake steers and sips make sure you subscribe to the channel <laughs> and let us make you or let's say let's nif make you a wonderful sour cherry negroni there we go so you need to grab your mixing glass for the sour cherry negroni and start by filling it with some ice using my hands you know you know the usual as always <laughs> why are you keeping the tongue i don't know why i'm using that why just, yeah Hands, ice. Right, guys, you know We're how it is, yeah? <laughs> home bar, use your hands. The real bar, never touch with hands, please. There we go. So, for the sour cherry Negroni, we are going to do equal parts of each ingredient. Ingredient? <laughs> so, the Luxardo sour cherry gin. So, we're doing 25 mils of each. Then, of course, the Campari. And we're using today the cherry herring. Herring? Herring? I don't know. Georgie says it different. It's um, a cherry herring. 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 Is it the cherry, cherry herring. herring? Cherry? Herring. Cherry herring. Herring? Which? So, okay, yeah. debate. <laughs> How are you going to say it? Herring or he herring? Herring is a fish, isn't it? Tuna. <laughs> no, that is a fish herring. Anyway, we're going to Anyway, out we're of the using cock. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're using cherry herring, all right, or herring because it's. The oldest. More, first is the oldest cherry liqueur, I think, and second, it's much more kind of a punch of flavor of cherry. So that's the first change from the one which I did in 2020. Mm -hmm. I'm going now. So our last change is the cherry bitters. So two, two or three dashes. Try not to make a mess like I have, <laughs> and then we stir. And why Nif stir? Don't forget to, you know, the drill. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Drop a comment. Show some love. So how long are you stirring? Um, long enough for me to work out where the glass is. All right, <laughs> you see? Long enough. So basically, guys, uh, stirring is very irrelevant. People say 30 resolution, 20 resolution. Who's going to count? So stir until your glass is kind of a steam frosty. from outside, frosty a little bit. Or also, if you cool. want to dilute it more, stir longer. So you can always try on your hand if you're happy with the final result. But if you're not, just give it a little more stir. You okay with that? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. There you go, that's your glass. Thank you. So, big ice cube time. Again, I'm gonna use my hands. I'm Absolutely, putting, the, I'm putting yeah. the tweezers down. I'm not even gonna try. Big ice cube in the glass and let me strain. All right. I'm ready for it. Beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. Put it here, it's fine. And, and there you go, your assistant. Our garnish for today 
So it's one, sour, one cherry, but you can put uh, two if you want, or three, I mean, treat yourself. In general, one cherry is enough, yeah. So you can put it like this on the top, or you can just on the side with the ice, and yeah. Yum. Yeah, just put it there. It's a, yeah, that's why you nice. have bar mats, so I can wash them after. <laughs> she never do. It's, it's, it's one of those, Sorry. you know. But yeah, that's the sour cherry Negroni, isn't it? It is. Oh. It's just a wonderful drink. So if you like Negronis, this is basically our kind of a take on the season. Yeah. Yeah, like it's autumn, winter, yeah. you know, the cherry seeds. It's a very good ingredient mm -hmm. for the season. And uh seems people like it. So people that's do. why we're pretty people matching. Do. <laughs> mm. It's just wonderful. That's it, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to do it now. Okay. So thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, we're going to do some pre-batching, but first of all, as I mentioned in the last video, Nif is going to Monaco to represent UK in the World Finals for a young mixologist. Really no pressure. Really nervous. So tell them a little <laughs> bit more about it, what it is. So I've just had my uh, like itinerary sent to me. So three nights in Monaco, uh, like a whole day, of challenges, so they're going to send me yeah. off to a market, tell me to buy ingredients, come back, make a drink out of those ingredients from the local markets. Then we do the signature serve, which you saw on the channel, a while ago, the candy floss. floss. Yeah. And then at the end of the day with a classic cocktail challenge. So I'm currently trying to brush up on, on my classic cocktail ingredients because. No pressure. There's some really I don't no know. Really no pressure. Like, be some I don't know. It's a real competition, yeah. to be honest, because. Going on the market, buying ingredients and thinking in your head, creating a cocktail yeah. and you have what, two, like three two hours? Two hours, yeah, I think. Do you know what I mean? It's a... You might get lost. Uh, even though it's for experienced <laughs> bartenders, yeah. two, three hours, it's a little kind of, a, you know, pressure. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're going to make it. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so <laughs> good luck to you. Thanks. When she come back winner, <laughs> she probably won't talk to me anymore, but that's, <laughs> that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> So, my lovely friends, uh, if you like so far what you see, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, like, as we mentioned, this is a great on a video which I did in 2020, so it's kind of a non new to the channel, but obviously changing the liqueur and adding cherry bitters uh, bring a little bit different perspective to the cocktail, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to teach you how to pre-batch this. Now, why are we pre-batching? In a bars, busy bars, mm -hmm. like ours, it's a speed and efficiency, for example, because when you have 60, 70 people in the bar and let's say half of them decide to go for sour cherry Negroni, mm -hmm. you're going to go crazy stirring cocktails. But okay. when you have them pre batch you can do efficient serving, you can do consistency and so always the yeah, always the cocktail is going to be perfectly <laughs> exactly presented and served. Exactly. So today we're mm -hmm. going to show them and I'm just gonna swap okay, with you. Bye. Bye, you take that, <laughs> go have a drink, it's fine. I'm not actually gonna drink that, I've got to drive. Yeah, yeah, who cares? <laughs> anyway, so my lovely friends, uh, pre-batching, you can pre-batch a plenty of different cocktails and it's really good for you because as I mentioned, if you have a party or a gathering at home or you just wanna have for yourself when you come back from work and it don't spend time mixing or shaking, some of them you have to shake, saying that. But at least you kind of shorten the time of mixing the whole drinks. Pretty much it's easy and obviously it's sustainable and it's staying for longer and it's just out there for you when you need it. So today we're going to pre batch and I'm thinking pre batching it's a good way to having a jerk around which you can pre batch things in it. Yeah? So. Since I'm very prepared, as always, I don't have one. So I'm just going to pre-batch everything directly in the bottle. So grab any bottle you have uh, in your house. I mean, if you have something like that, Garaf, is it called Garaf? A Caraf. Caraf or something like it's that. Gareth. I don't know, Garaf. I mean, that's how it's called in Bulgaria, sorry. It's, a, it's a different than the English, yeah? <laughs> but it's very simple because Obviously, you can work out the recipe, multiply and get the volume of your bottle and pre batch inside. But always remember to leave a little bit of space and I'll explain why. Some of the cocktails, for example, could be freezer friendly. 
So this is gonna increase a little bit the volume of the liquid inside, so you want some space inside. But some of the cocktails are more fridge friendly, like this one. You can put it in the freezer, but I won't risk it because the ABV is not that high, you have just the gin. So it may become a little bit slushy. If that's your kind of a vibe, go for it. But if not, make sure you stick this in the fridge, not in the freezer, okay? So now I'm gonna get my measures. There you go. So we're gonna do, as we mentioned, it's, we did our Negroni on 25 mil, like it's here in UK, but you can do yours one ounce, which is 30 mil. However, in this bottle, we have 700 mil capacity. So we're gonna go with 200 mil of each of the ingredients. So we're gonna start with our Luxardo Sour Cherry Gin. A wonderful gin, which if you never try, and if it's available to you, I strongly suggest to try. Now, some people before ask me, can I use slow gin for this Negroni? Not really, because it's not gonna be sour cherry Negroni. It's gonna be a slow Negroni. Let's put it that way. But again, it's nothing wrong with that because it was still equally delicious. So if you wanna do it slow Negroni, do slow Negroni. So Campari, same. And this is 50 mil one of the jiggers, so I'm doing four of it. And if, while I'm doing this, if you can go and grab in the, some water in the small jug, it's in the kitchen, she's going, I don't know, she's going to get lost, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> My house is not that big, but yeah. So finally, the cherry herring. We mentioned before, uh, the original recipe was done with the uh, Luxardo cherry liqueur kind of to keep the consistency with the sour cherry gin because it's produced from the same company. But absolutely in general, I, I can tell you the cherry herring, it's miles better for this cocktail because of the flavor and it's just bringing more to the cocktail. Now, I mentioned to leave some space, thank you. And the reason why you need to leave space is because we're gonna pre-batch the cocktail to be a fridge friendly. What this mean is, when you have this cocktail in the fridge, you're not required to stir it again. You can just serve it, okay? So, uh, I do around 20% of the liquid inside in water. In this case, it's around 140 ml, but I think it's a little bit too much for dilution. So, we're just gonna add 100 ml. So, that basically is gonna be what? Around... Uh, Less than 20 mil per cocktail, to be honest. If my math is right, because I'm rubbish. So if it's not, literally, feel free to correct me, okay? But this is it, guys. As simple as it is, you close your bottle, give it a little shake, just to mix everything. Stick this bottle in the fridge, leave it overnight, and it's ready for you for the next day. Come here, where's my Negroni? Oh, so next day, instead of serving all the steering and everything, you can just put a big clear ice or fill up your glass with ice. Pour 75 mil to 80 mil from the ready Negroni, sour cherry Negroni, and you're ready. Go enjoy your favorite movie or have a chat and have a laugh. Do whatever you want. Enjoy. Absolutely. And this is it from us today. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, Comment. get in touch. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll see you soon with another cocktail, as usual. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Or if we may start a cooking show, who knows? No. That would be... It would be very boring because it will be just muesli and, uh, <laughs> and yogurt. That's all. Croissants. Croissants, yeah. yeah. Croissants. Anyway, anyhow, <laughs> good luck to you in Monaco. Thank you. Thank and uh, good luck to all of you. I'll see you next time. We love you and leave you. Bye bye. Bye, this is mine. Bye, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh.